What's up team? You know what to do. Tap that like and subscribe button and tap into the comments down below. Say what's up. Let's go ahead and tap into this news that's going on with Future. So Rapper Future has been in the media this week because it has been reported that he has sold some of his catalog from the early uh, 2000s all the way up into 2020 for a reported 65 to 75 million dollars. Now, DJ Academics uh, highlighted uh, this news on one of his most recent videos, and he kind of broke down how this was a really smart business move for future. Everybody was freaking out and saying that, you know, he basically uh, undercut himself and sold his music for a low amount. And DJ Academics was basically breaking things down and saying that. Future made this uh, business move because he knows that he's going to put out a lot more music. And as more time progresses, the value of his older catalog will become less and less valuable because he will put out new music that will be more valuable. And so it was a great business move, not only for him to set a precedent for his older music to then um, create a higher uh, price point for his newer music, but it was just smart for him to get rid of assets that would no longer serve him. And he also discussed um, how when you put too much music out there for consumers, you can uh, water down the market, if it will, when it comes to your catalog. So all in all, this was a great business move. Um, not too bad for a day's work, 75 million. I can get busy with that kind of dough. I don't know about you guys. Drop a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. And let's listen to a snippet of some of DJ Academics response to this news. Cause it's going from 2000 and it's early 2000, it might be two, before 2010 to 2020. It's about 750 songs, right? And I'm going to tell you why it's advantageous for Future, because a lot of people, and this is why Future tweeted out, you know, six unsuccessful people can't understand success. Um, by the way, the same thing is happening for a lot of artists. A lot of people just sold their, their um, um, either publishing or sometimes they might sell, sell their parts to the masters. The reason why is, especially artists like Future, Youngboy, and other artists like that, they make so much music your new catalog is going to be worth more than what your old catalog is. So it's, it's one of those things where like, I hope y'all understanding me in a sense of people keep talking ownership, but when you own something and you're diluting the pool by putting a lot of other music in it and other new music, how much is it really going to pay you? So basically these dudes are just getting the money up front and they're making new music. So what do you guys think? Was it a good business move? Are you excited for more um, future music releases, new albums? Is it only up from here when it comes to rapper future? You guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let's go ahead and tap into this news with Larsa Pippen and Michael Jordan's son, Michael Jordan Jr. So Larsa and Michael have been in the news as of lately because Larsa Pippen was spotted out and about with Michael and it was speculated that the two may be dating. And most apologies, I misspoke. His name is Marcus Jordan. Now he is a junior because he does favor his father, but his name is Marcus Jordan. So these two were speculated to be dating. Larsa shut the rumors down. And these two have been spotted out again, most recently at a restaurant in New York this week. They were seen cuddling and they definitely appeared to be an item. So Larsa, we caught ya. And I'm sure you probably wanted us to at this moment. Now Larsa is 48, Marcus is 31. Marcus is an entrepreneur. He owns a famous store called the Trophy Room where he sells exclusive uh, sneakers from, you know who, his father, Michael Jordan. So he sells exclusive Jordans at the store and it's like a really dope store to be exact. So um, he's doing his thing. Larsa 
uh, not too long ago, got divorced from basketball legend Scottie Pippen, and she's, uh, you know, kind of been around the block. She spent it quite a few times, uh, most famously known for having a sneaky link with the rapper Future and Future kind of, you know, threw it in Scottie Pippen's face that he was smashing his wife. And since then, she's been spotted with different um, hip hop artists, celebrities, uh, NBA players, all younger men. So she's definitely out here uh, making a list, checking it twice and scratching them names off what it appears. So um, you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think they're a cute couple? Do you think they'll last? Or is he just another name on the list? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let's go ahead and tap into this news that's going on with Little Dirk and can you believe it? La La Anthony. Yes. Now, word around town is one of Little Dirk's homies in his inner circle ratted and out at your boy and let it be known that actress Lala Anthony, aka Carmelo Anthony's ex-wife, that's right, NBA legend Carmelo Anthony's ex-wife was one of the women that Little Dirk cheated on India Royale with. That's right. She's one of them ones. And it is reported that Little Dirk paid her 200000 to sleep with her. Can you guys believe it? This story is getting crazier and crazier. And I got all my different flavors of popcorn because I got to see what happens next. So it has been said that Lala Anthony again was one of the women that little Dirk was cheating on India Royale with, and she has had enough. Now Lala Anthony is currently one of the actresses on the hit show, the shy, um, that basically, you know, talks about what it's like to live in Chicago. So I don't know if she was on set or out in Chicago and, Things popped off between them, or if it was more of a, uh, you know, a longer affair. Who knows? But it's getting crazy. I'll give you guys an update. Can you believe it? Lala Anthony is also significantly older than Little Dirk, but she's definitely a baddie, and she is on everybody's list when it comes to uh, hoping and wishing and praying that they could get some of her time. So. I guess Little Dirk saw that as a come up, another notch on his belt. I personally think it's so ironic because Lala Anthony actually divorced her husband for the same type of behavior that she's carrying on with Little Dirk about. And it's so ironic how a lot of these wives divorce their husbands for cheating and having multiple side chicks, having extramarital affairs. And once they divorce their husbands, they turn into other people's side chicks. They turn into the one that's having the affair with someone else's man. Isn't that crazy? I don't know. It's like some type of mental issue or it's their way to have their get back at, at the world. It is just wild. Like, why not just go get married and try love again? Why you got to be for the streets? Because... The streets took your man. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm wishing India the best. Hopefully they can work things out. They have a beautiful family. We'll just have to wait and see. Now, speaking of cheating and beautiful women like India Royale being casualties in these men's affairs, Nia Long has finally spoken out amidst her, hu her husband, fiance, um, Boston Celtics coach, uh, most recent scandal that, uh, came out this week regarding an affair with one of the staff members. Now his name, do not quote me on this, is, uh, Ime Udoka. I'm hoping I pronounced that correctly. If I didn't, my bad. Okay. <laughs> 
So he's one of the top coaches on the Boston Celtics team. And most recently, he was outed for having an affair with one of the female staff. Now, it has been speculated that the affair has been going on for some time. And Ime was already aware that there was an investigation. But when the news broke to the world is when Nia Long found out. She most recently spoke out and stated that she and her son had just most recently moved and um, her fiance, I guess, actually was supportive of the move, move probably because he knew the news was going to break about the affair. Now, this is a really, really big deal in the world of sports. He's been suspended for the rest of the season. And a lot of people were upset about it because they talked about how he was unfairly punished, alluding to a little bit of racism when it comes to the consequence that he faced. Um, they mentioned that a lot of other uh, professional NBA staff have committed way more serious offenses and got less consequence. And so a lot of people like Matt Barnes came out and spoke about how um, there was an injustice when it came to punishing him. However, back to Nia Long, she finally issued a statement to CNN on Friday. And she said that outpouring love and support from family, friends and the community during this difficult time means so much to me. I ask that my privacy be respected as I process the recent events. Above all, I am a mother and will continue to focus on my children. Now, her and Udoka have not come out with a joint statement. Um, we are not sure the status of their relationship or anything like that. Again, she had most recently uh, mentioned that she just moved. So uh, who knows You know what's going on with their relationship? But it's really unfortunate that things have fizzled out this way, and we're just wishing her and her family the best. And hopefully Coach Udoka learns from his poor choices. We can't really call them a mistake because these are his experience to have his choices to make. And so who are we to judge? However, it is unfortunate that women and children have to be a casualty when it comes to men's vices with women. Like it's crazy. You guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Should Nia Long move on? Is their relationship salvageable? Uh, did Ime Udoka receive too much um, in terms of a harsh consequence with being suspended for the whole season? Or should he have gotten an even uh, more serious punishment? And then what's up with the female staff member? What happened to her? Ain't nobody talking about that. What's up, side chick? You still got your job? <laughs> If anybody has an update on that, let me know in the comments down below. As always, thanks for the tap in. And team, we are on the road to 10K. Let's get it. Be sure to tap the all notifications bell so you don't miss a chance to tap into the source for daily celebrity news, entertainment, trending topics, and conversations. Peace out.